component and it's called the value list and so I'll show you uh, what I would use it for and um, how to use it so basically when you take a look at this component and we double click inside we're actually going to have um, all of this right so we have one two three and four and those are going to be actually the same as what you see inside of this um, this basically this little panel so you see one equals one so we can change that and say um, wall one wall two and say this is 3.5 then we could say this one is 5.5 and we'll get rid of the rest and then hit OK now we have the option of wall one and wall two and those equal to 3.5 and 5.5 so let's say I wanted to bring in uh, first I'll go to units to see what I'm working with and I'm going to change that to inches then feet and inches right so now I'll bring in a rectangle and I'm going to say 10 feet by 10 feet so 120 inches by 120 so now we have a 10 foot by 10 foot rectangle uh, square and what I'm going to do is offset it so now I'm going to use the rectangle and I'm going to offset it this amount so now it's offsetting 3.5 out but I actually wanted to go in so I'll go to a negative component here and I'll actually make it offset in and so that's what I use value list for is if I want to change from one type to the other this is how you could do it and we could do the same thing if let's create some boundary surfaces between the rectangle and this one and then we'll flatten it to just get that little surface and now what I'm going to do is take the surface and extrude it so I'm going to type in extrude this surface in the Z direction and now I'm going to bring in another value list so I'll go here value list double click and now um, so top plate one and then we can say top plate two so then here we can say top plate one is going to be eight feet let's see if feet works and then here eight feet so now it's going to be in the unit so it's going to be eight inches so we'll get rid of this and we'll actually say eight times 12 and then we'll say 10 times 12 and let's see if that works so I'm just kind of testing out to see if that would work but it, it does not so I'm actually gonna go in here and I think if I do a space in between it should work okay it doesn't work so what you're gonna have to do is basically type in here um, let's see 120 for this one and 96 for this one and there we have it okay so I was able to get this component to work uh, what I had messed up on is that the multiplication shouldn't be an X it should actually be a star so I did top plate 1 equals to 8 times 12 with the star and then top plate 2 is 10 times 12 and that seemed to had like have fixed the issue that I was going through so that's another way that you can translate feet or inches into feet and feet into inches is by doing multiplication so that's just a little trick so now we have this value list that we of course change the name I think by clicking here value list this is gonna be wall height and so this way you can determine exact values without needing a slider and I actually learned that from a guy that I was tutoring so um, it's a pretty handy uh, useful tool and we could do the same thing with this one right click and then change that to wall thickness and we can change that wall one we can say two by four we can say this is a two by four 
and this is a 2x6. And so, yeah, that's kind of a cool way that you can kind of create a parametric building using value list, and then we can change top plate to top plate too. Yeah, so hopefully you found this useful. I'll share this with you in the links below if you want to play around with it. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. So um, yeah, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you learned something new. And uh, yeah, make sure to stick around for the next video.